Hey guys, just got back with some more PAX cards to open up. I um, bought two of the opening day, 2018, and two more of the Heritage Baseball, um, 2018. Um, wasn't going to buy any of the opening day cards until I opened, until I looked at the back, because you can kind of see who the players are on them. And I noticed, of course, I've broken the back on this just to see it, but if, if you look right there, it says Verlander. So when, while you can't see that which which player is what up here, if you look at the Instagram thing, which is right here, you can see who that back player is really easily. So um, went ahead and bought that one. And I thought, well, I might as well buy two, so I'd have two and two. So, but um, I'm a little concerned about these. Um, I mean, I mentioned how you can see into the packs on the top card, but when I went to this Walmart. All these first few cards were shoved way up in the wrapper. I mean, they were way high. So I bought the two packs that were not shoved high. So what I think somebody was doing is they were pushing the cards up, trying to see what the next card was, probably looking for the Otani or whatever his name is. So, but anyways, um, I'm going to break these open in this video, and then I'll break these open in a second one so I don't have the videos too long. So anyways, uh, here we go. I broke the backs on these just so we wouldn't have to fumble with them. Obviously, we know Verlander's on the back of this one, which is the reason why I bought this pack. All right, so here we go. Matt Olson. Swap hands here. Johnny Cito. Paul DeLong. Molina. Alex Wood. Dallas Kitchell. Jason Hayward. Michael Fulmer. Got a tiger, friendly. Hanley Ramirez, Zach Cozart, Eric Fade, and I already know I already have that Mets card. Let's see, I also got another mascot card. These are not part of the series again, but they're in for the mascot and eight. And I'm assuming that every team that has a mascot, they're going to have one in there. Cardinals team card or stadium card. Justin Turner. Gary Sanchez, Eric Thames, Aaron Nola, and Aaron Athier, I believe. Yeah, that's a long last name. I'm seeing a lot of rookies in this. That's a pretty cool card. I wonder if he caught that ball. Man, he's 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 up there. Zuna. And Mr. Verlander. It's the only reason why I bought that pack, and it's the reason why I bought this. I do like, I do like these opening day cards. They don't really hold the value of like the series one tops card or, um, like the Chrome cards or Heritage or Gallery or any of those stuff. But the price point, two ninety, two ninety five or two ninety eight for these packs. I mean, how can you go wrong? I mean, maybe you won't find as many inserts in these. I mean, their inserts are like those team cards and things like that, but, you know, if, if you're just in it for collecting cards and building sets, it's pretty good. But if you're in it for the autographs or the insert cards, probably not the best thing to buy. Because I don't think the odds are very good at all. There's Harrison Bader again. I think I got him the other night. Not sure how many more of these opening day packs I'll buy because I'm getting to the point where I have almost a little full set. I mentioned this in my other video, JD Martinez, if you got his cards, rookie cards, you might want to pull them out because this guy's going to probably put up some stellar numbers if he doesn't get hurt this year. He's going to be in Boston, short porch stuff. I think I mentioned that in the other video I just did uh, the other day. So, Chris Bryant, another one of those um, wrong cards. I don't know if it's a mascot card or if that's a no, that's actually a Brewers team card. There's the mascot card. And then you must get a uh, like a stadium card. Oh, it's got players on it. Again, I don't know if there's any short prints in these. I haven't really discovered anything that looks out of the ordinary. I will eventually start checking these numbers. See that 277 down there, right next to the MLB logo. I will be checking those to see if there's uh, variation numbers because that, that will tell you what your variations are, your short prints. So, and there he is. The guy that everybody is chasing is this guy right here. 
He is going to be the Aaron Judge for packs this year. I'm sure there's autograph cards out there. But if you got these, my recommendation is unload them. Because this guy could turn out good, but if you go on eBay, his stuff's just ridiculous. And I don't get it. I mean, that's the second one of these I've gotten already. So, now I'm not saying the opening day card's high, but like those heritage cards, those things right there, yeah. It's going a little higher. If you get one, get lucky and get one of the parallel cards that are like the prism or blue foil or chrome or something like that, and are numbered, and then you really got something. If you get an autograph card, I imagine you really, really got something. But anyways, what's this last card here? So yeah, so there's the cards right there. I will um, I will post this video up. And if you guys are interested in trading, uh, go to the Facebook page that I have. I'll put it in the description down below and you guys can um, hit me up there for trades. Uh, I will probably have a lot of doubles here. I doubt I'll be trading that off. I'll probably just flip it just to get some money back out of these cards unless somebody wants to buy it off me. But um, but anyways, until then, we'll talk to you. See ya.